We're back with another episode of Practical IT. Today we are continuing our look at Calibri, which is an offline learning system that can be set up and utilize resources such as Khan Academy and others without an internet connection. Let's move over to our web browser and get started. So here we are at our login page. I'll go ahead and log in as the administrator user. Dismiss last pass. So I have downloaded the data for several of the Khan Academy resources as well as a few other things. I have played around with setting up classes, which is as easy as saying new class. I've added a couple of users, user one and user two, and of course my original admin user. You can add users to classes, you can make groups all kinds of fun things, settings, um, pretty self-explanatory, not a whole lot of options there, and data allows you to uh, download session logs and summary logs. But let's take a look at the learn part. So if you come into learn, and again right now I'm admin, uh, showing that I've earned 2,500 points, I went through a few of the Khan Academy videos this morning. So I've also down, downloaded the PHET Interactive Simulations, which has some rather neat resources here. Uh, and I downloaded Physics, Biology, Chemistry, Earth Science, Math, and they've got an option for by level, which breaks it down into grade levels that you can look through and assign to different students or different groups of students. We'll jump back here. If we were to go into Khan Academy and let's just select Arts and Humanities and we'll do AP US History and then it breaks it down into uh, again more sections to choose from so we'll do period one 1491 to 1607 and it gives you different areas here as well so the great thing about Calibri is that it can be set up and run off your own server without an internet connection or it can be set up on your own server even if you do have internet access and cut down on your bandwidth usage if you have a number of students or patrons using the resource. All right, so let's log out of my admin user. We'll log in as user one. And give the password there. As a regular user, you will see that there are fewer options in the menu on the side. Just learn profile and sign out. You have classes that have been assigned. I have not gone all the way through the configuration process on this yet, but it's a work in progress and kind of an interesting exercise to go through to set this all up channels you've got the resources that we saw before notice that this user has no points so they haven't watched any of the resources or used any of the resources yet and then recommended and it gives you most popular you can use the arrow to move through or you can say view more and it will list more videos and resources. Now let's jump back to our administrator user one last time. And one thing I did want to show here, whoops, one thing I did want to show here was under device, takes a second to load up, Okay, we're loaded up. 
And what I wanted to point out to you, and I have not loaded all of Khan Academy, but what I have loaded is 24 gigabytes in size. So what I would suggest strongly here is that you be very specific about what resources you actually need or maybe download a few at a time over the course of a few days as you get your server set up. So you've got options here to import more or delete. If we go to import more, we'll import from Calibri Studio and it will load up and show us what other Khan Academy resources we can import. This by far was the most time consuming piece of the setup process. Everything else is very easy to walk through and set up the pieces. So I'll give this another minute or so and it should load up everything else from Khan Academy. As you can see, I have loaded part of the math, the science, economics, and finance, arts and humanities, and computing, and they leave, uh, I have left some of the others, the test prep, partner content, college careers or more, resources, and map recommended practice uh, that I could load at a later time. So go ahead and close out of that. You can also set permissions and edit permissions of your various users. You can make them a super user, import and export content channels uh, is a permission you can give to other users. You can get info, so Calibri version 0.10.3, the IP address, and port number, database path, device name, etc. One thing I've not explored too much is the coach section. So here I've set myself as a coach, but I've not really configured much more than that. Uh, there's groups. So I've got a group A, I put my two users in. We can assign lessons to groups, exams, the recent activity and channels. So that about covers everything here. Uh, under facility, again, classes, users, settings, and data. If you look at device, profile, of course, it's going to show the user's points, their role, permission level, and you can change or update the full name and username. And that, my viewers, is a basic walkthrough of Calibri. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I would appreciate it if you would subscribe, like the video, and click the bell icon for notifications of future videos. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I do try to respond to each of the comments that I get. And I get to those every couple of days and respond in batches. Until next time, this is Jeremy signing off for Practical IT. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day.